All right, well, we're here at the Super Bowl. Is yes. This, is this a weird place for you to be getting interviews at? It's a very strange place for me to be interviewed as a man that knows nothing about English football, let alone American football. Uh, I was asked to do some interviews. I stressed the importance that I don't watch the NFL. <laughs> I was assured on multiple occasions, don't worry, they want to ask about UFC. And every single interview, they've asked for, for my opinion on the big game on Sunday. And I'm like, I feel like this has been set up to make a fool out of me. Well, you could have asked Anthony to prep you because he's a yeah, big no, Chiefs fan. No, no, I'm kind of kidding. I'm not, I'm, I'm not an NFL fan. Well, it's not that I'm not a fan. I do appreciate the sport. I appreciate all sports, but I just don't follow it. I just don't have a team, obviously. I'm English. Um, I don't really follow any team sports, to be honest. I'm all in combat sports and martial arts. I do enjoy it. I do watch it. I appreciate it, but I just never find myself following any of the, the leagues or anything. Well, that's okay, because I'm here, and I've been Googling everybody that they've all been yeah. interviewing, because I don't know who anybody is Yeah, I've is met either. so many people, and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm yeah. like, who's that? <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Yeah. yeah. So i got to ask you some topical MMA questions. Please, then. good. I mean, Thank U God. UFC 300 is coming up. We still do not have a main event. Who would you like to see in the main event? Oh, God, I haven't even thought about that. Uh, UFC 300 main event. Oh, my God. I don't know. There's going to be something big announced pretty soon. And I would be very shocked if it doesn't involve Alex Pereira. You know what I mean? It's, it's got to be. Alex Pereira versus probably Magomed or Jamal Hill. That would be fantastic. It would have been nice to have Tom Aspinall in there as well. I doubt it's going to be Alex and Tom. Did I'd, you see what he tweeted? Yeah. Or yeah. He's not, he's, that just proves that he's not fighting. Because if he was fighting, he wouldn't be announcing Googling. it by uh, showing his <laughs> flight itinerary okay right. so that just proves he's not Thomas hilarious by the way i'm doing a good job of not giving you an answer no I'm i talking know. a lot and saying nothing but i don't know for a guy that talks so much i really don't have a selection for you well i feel like you probably already know what it is and you have I, to be real I, careful I wish. this is what people think they yeah. know not to tell me anything because <laughs> i just have verbal diarrhea well what do you think the delay is with connor oof uh, who knows who knows? That could be a million things. God knows what's going on in that world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows? Who? I, I. God knows. There's a delay for some reason, but I don't know what it is. I'm looking forward to the fight. I think we all want to see it. Um, you got to respect Conor McGregor, I'll be honest, because, listen, he's not my favorite person. We've gone back and forth over the years, but the fact that he still chooses to step in there with the amount of money that he's made over the years, you got to respect that, you know? So him versus Michael Chandler, we're all looking forward to it. Um, what version of Conor shows up after all this time away, after breaking the leg and after, you know, enjoying himself? But he's got every right to enjoy himself. He's worked hard, he's made some money. I tell you what, I'd be enjoying myself. I am enjoying myself, but I'd be enjoying myself a lot more if I had if I was waking up on Lamborghini yachts every day. Exactly. So fair play to is, him. Fair yeah, play. Beautiful yacht. That's I think the thing I'm most jealous of is the yacht yeah. with all the chef and the people waiting uh, on you. Oh yeah. It get old. No, it would not. It gets old. <laughs> what about the whole negotiations with uh, Dustin Poirier? What What's your take on that? What Do you think that that was? Him kind of doing the background. I know he'll get no, you in trouble, aren't I? I have no idea. You know <laughs> what I mean? Again, again, I don't sit and pontificate on such things. There's no point coming up with a hypothesis if you don't know any facts. I honestly don't. I don't ask, and I don't want to know. I honestly don't want to know because I do. I do. I do speak. I do a podcast, and things just come out. So I, I don't. I don't want to know. They don't have to run anything by me, obviously. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what went on. You know, it's it's a funny business. You know, I mean, and miscommunication with managers and stuff like that. Who knows, right? The, people are always so quick to jump to conclusions and think that there's some. Oh, there's a. The, listen, you all want to take down the UFC and talk a bit of shit and get your clicks, right? But sometimes it's just not that complicated. Sometimes it's just pretty simple miscommunication or whatever yeah i agree you know what i mean I, i've been trying to stay away from the controversy yep. that it follows me uh what about sean strickland speaking of controversy um uh, do you believe that there is a limit to trash talk i know there were some issues with some things that drick has said to him like what's what's your limit um 
Yeah, of course. Of course there is. I mean, listen, there's, there is no limits. If we're being literal about it, say whatever you want. You have to live by those comments and stand by those comments and they will follow you around for eternity. However, generally as a man, you don't talk about wives and children. I think that's pretty much the cutoff for me. Well, well, don't talk about people's family. You know, if you want to talk about the opponent, you want to talk about their coaches and training partners and stuff like that, that's all fair game, you know. But I, I you w wouldn't talk about families. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of off the table. But, you know, as Sean Strickland knows, as everybody knows, it's a free world. You can say whatever you want. Do you know what I mean? So it's that that's down to them. But as I say, who cares? We've all got thick skins. Don't let it bother you. You know what I mean? Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. And you get, those words will only get you knickers in a twist if you let them. Mm -hmm. Who cares what anyone says? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so what? That's what you think? Great. Well, I think differently. Yeah. So fuck off. Done. And well, on that note, you know, John, do you know what I mean? Though? I do. It's I true. Do. It's like, I do. So what? It's very hard. So it's what? Very hard sometimes. Like what? What things? Oh, I mean, I mean, we could go on for hours. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen what some of the people have said about me. I have. Fighters actually. alone have said about me. Said what? What have they said? Well, John Jones said that I look like a witch and that I should fuck off, which is. Well, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you it think? Was you, I thought it was funny. Thing, yeah. I mean, look, listen. <laughs> Give you a broomstick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was right before Halloween. I thought it was Yeah, pretty. look, listen, listen. You know, maybe you wrote something nasty about it. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so, you threw the first rock. I did. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's just the way it goes. You know, and fighters are highly emotional, volatile beings. Yeah. You're not. You're not a fighter. So, what's your no. excuse? I'm a woman. Oh, oh, right. So, women can do whatever they want. That's another <laughs> thing, isn't it? These days, strong, independent, fierce woman. <laughs> She's a woman. She can say whatever you want. But we as men can't say anything. <laughs> we'll build the pyramids. We'll build the skyscrapers. We'll go to war. We'll do all that stuff. But the moment that you say anything that we don't like, ooh, then that's bad. I look at the face, look well, at the tone change now. Well, you know, women also build skyscrapers I'm and sure go to they war. Do. I'm sure they do. And not me, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just, when World War Three, if and does happen. Yeah, I'm not signing up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I young, strong men. Oh. Well, then neither of us are signing which up. Which is not then. what I'm uh, trying to do. I'm just saying, listen, know, don't okay. let words bother you. I know. It's okay. People say ignorant shit. I've said plenty of ignorant shit over the years as well, you know. And, you know, as you get older, you mature and you, you wise up a little bit and, you know, you you mature and hopefully you get a bit more intelligent. You know, it's hard when you're, when you're young and the world's at your feet and you're doing big things and everyone's falling on your every word then you get a little carried away with yourself and maybe the version of yourself or the character of yourself that you're playing gets a little um, exaggerated, you know? So I don't know who we're talking about now, but so what? Let people say whatever they want to say. It makes this sport w much more fun. I agree. What would you do if everyone came out all bland and vanilla? I was like, yeah, don't want to say anything to offend anyone. He's I do a very good fighter. I do love a Sean Strickland fight. Yeah, I'm not it talking about fun. Sean Strickland. I'm talking about everyone. Yeah. I'm talking about everyone. That's what you want to see. You all want it. You want to stand yeah. there. You're full of shit, all of you. You're sitting there taking this holier-than-thou stance when you want that stuff. You Absolutely. want it to happen, but you want to take your moral high ground. Oh, that's bad. But thank God he did, because now we can go say this. <laughs> and don't lie. No, I'm not. I, you're absolutely right, 100%. I know. And I've got a favor to ask you. Please, go ahead. After all that, can you take your eye out? No, I can't. Oh, come yeah. on. No, I, I, I can do it, obviously, but I did it once before. I, I don't want to introduce infection. You That's know true. I mean? Okay, all you right. Know, You've muggy, been touching the mic. Muggy all right. fingers. I don't know who's touched this. Every NFL star oh, known to man. God. Well, I appreciate your time. Well, it's lovely to see you again. You and too. Nice to talk to you. You and too. Take care. Thank you so much.